Samsung Focus Review. As a product reviewer, I switch phones regularly. It's part of the job. I personally own an iPhone, which I purchased like everyone else in the Apple Store. Even when I'm testing a phone, I still bring my iPhone along, because it stores all of my data, music and apps. I bring it along even if I take out the SIM card to use my AT&T service for the phone being tested. With the Samsung Focus, I did just that. I used my own SIM card, the Focus is available through AT&T, and after 3 days forgot entirely about my iPhone. As a side note, I use an iPod Touch and iPad regularly as well, so apps were never an issue. More importantly, I didn't miss my iPhone. The Samsung Focus was, and is, an absolute pleasure to use. The Samsung Focus is very similar to the Galaxy S phones, like the Fascinate and Epic 4G, which we reviewed, in both shape and design. As you read in my first impressions, the biggest difference between the devices is the Focus has a fat, rounded bottom, and of course runs on Windows instead of Android. Otherwise, if you painted a Galaxy S logo on the Focus, it would fit right into that exclusive club. Windows Phone 7, however, puts the focus in a different class entirely. However, for this review we will concentrate on the device specifically. The design is sleek for a 4-inch display. It feels good in the hand, both to hold for calls upright and horizontally when watching recorded video or taking pictures. The glossy phone is easy to grip, and I've never had a slip or drop because of slick fingers. Buttons are well placed and tactile. There have been some complaints about the power, standby button being placed on the right side instead of the top, but I've found it easy to adjust to, and more convenient than a top button for a phone of this size.